before we start solving uh, questions based on areas in combination figures that is circles and other polygons like squares and triangles and all let me help you understand how you are supposed to approach these kind of questions and it's very interesting so for that i'll start by asking a question take a square from all the four corners here take quarter circles like this shade the central region now the shaded region here keep this in mind now take the same square here and cut the maximum circle out and shade the four corner regions shaded region in this diagram is same as the shaded region in the second diagram so my question is why so if you try answering this question just take some time and try answering the question there is a very interesting way where you can answer this question and a very simple way that is by here how we got these four quarter circles they were drawn with keeping corner these four corners as the center now just make all four of them upside down just flip it over like this when you just flip it over like this we got a circle here which is same as the second one now can we actually flip all of them over is a question which you need to understand right so for that take just one part of it outside so initially the quarter circle was like this from this corner now when i just flip it over it is still a quarter circle with this corner as the center so obviously this shaded region will be equal to this shaded region because both of them are what is the shaded region one of the shaded region is nothing but from this square if i take out the quarter circle the remaining part is the shaded region so whether i take out this quarter circle or this quarter circle since they are exactly the same i can actually flip it over right that's the reason now if i bring the original figures back shaded region here in the first diagram which is the center which is there in the central part is same as the shaded regions in this particular diagram you can also think this way it's equivalent of all this when you are flipping it over what's actually happening is these uh, shaded regions maybe since i use these central lines they are actually four of them they are just pushed away from center to the corner or from center to the corners 1 2 3 4 so that we get the second diagram so it's an easy interesting way to connect these two diagrams right what we are doing is we are simply flipping it over to get the second diagram so i'm sure in an intuitive manner all of you understood why the two shaded regions were exactly the same now you can compare this with just to give you a scenario assume that uh, the same square field if it's a square field grass field if the the area which a cow can graze where with a rope of this length if it's in this corner it can cover this much in this corner it can cover this much from this corner it can cover this much from this corner it can cover this much the one area which it cannot cover is the shaded region here that is same as if you just uh, keep the cow in the center it can cover with just one uh, rotation it can cover this much area the one area which it cannot cover is the shaded region and these two are exactly the same why they are exactly the same we understood in a very simple manner now doing things like this will make a huge difference in the way you start solving or start approaching questions in complex diagrams or in combination diagrams nothing is complex once you start thinking everything will become very simple and interesting if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now